you have a priority in your life. Maybe you're the only person who knows what it is, but you have a priority in your life. And the question is this. Do you value your relationship with Jesus Christ enough to make him, time alone with him, the number one priority in your life? Is he that valuable to you? Is he that important to you? Where does he rank in your life? Does he rank number one? Is he number two? Number three? Number four? Number five? Is he down so far in the list on your time, your energies, your interest, your love, your devotion, that you can't figure out exactly where he fits? Where is Jesus in your priority list. Number one priority in our life is our time we spend alone with Him. Now I want you to listen very, very carefully. The most important thing in your life and my life today, tomorrow, next month, next year, every year till the moment we die is our personal intimate relationship with Him, with Christ. The, the number one priority in our life is to be that time we spend alone with him. Now watch this. It isn't because we just need him. He wants us. He desires our love. And he, and he desires to spend time alone with us. The Bible says over and over again, what's the first commandment? You shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. What does it say about Jesus Christ that he might have first place in everything? He can't be second. He cannot be second. It means that you have to find time for him when you have time for other things. And that mean, may mean I have to get up a little earlier for you to be first with my day. So he's waiting on you to meet with him every day, every day. I don't care how stormy your circumstances are. I don't, it doesn't make any difference how difficult the situation is and what's going on in your life and who's on your case. You know what? When you get along with him, it is absolutely amazing how he can quieten your spirit, shut out everything else in the world, and it's just you and him that will quieten your spirit. You see, so many people's God is so confined. You're, listen, your view of God begins to get larger and larger, greater and greater, bigger and bigger. When you begin to see how he begins to work in your life and how he is working situations and circumstances in the future that, that you can't even figure out. And you come to that point in your life or that time or that decision and you see how God has worked at every single detail already. Now, we don't know what tomorrow holds. None of us do. And so we can't predict the future and we can't make decisions today that affect the future. And so we have to make decisions today that affect today. And so we have to trust God for tomorrow. And so we don't know when the storms are coming, when the floods are coming. But here's what I know for certain. When you and I spend time with him, you see, he says he's like a refuge. He's like, he's like a fortress. Uh, he, he, he's like a rock upon which we stand. He, he's our hiding place. Spending time with him oftentimes prepares us so quietens our soul that we are ready when something comes that would normally blow people off course that does not affect us. Because why? Because we know who is in control of our lives. Is Jesus first? Now watch this. As you look at the way you spend your time, is he first? The way you spend your money, is he first? In your relationships, is he first? And then if you're wise enough to make him number one in relationship and every other aspect of your life, you watch God transform you in a way that you would never begin to imagine. One thing I know for certain, you never lose making him number one.